we are, stranded in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? <laughs> First course, filet au Jacob. Rich and full-bodied, this rare beefcake may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. Wow. What? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. Yeah! Whoa! And scene. Oh, I mean, I could have kicked it. You loosened it for me. Okay. So, if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? Beep! 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 What beep, are you doing? Beep! Oh! <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it, it's my beer dar, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over here. Wow, the kids really wiped this place out. Mr. H loved his accessories. Hmm. <laughs> Think it's locked. Don't know what I was expecting. Oh. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> oh! Jackpot! Hey, uh, check out my giant melons. Oh. See, you just cut a hole in it? Mm-hmm. You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just, you pour the vodka right in it? Yeah. It's the most fun you could have with a hole in watermelon. Or, well, second most. Okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. Harem Scarum? Buys this crap. <laughs> Hello, old friends. Oh, yeah.
can't pass up an opportunity like this. Okay, have y'all ever seen a grown man crap his pants? Because you're about to. Oh my. <laughs> All right, now where should I hide? Jacob! Emma? Hello? Look, if you're trying to scare me, it's not gonna work. No, they're... they're funny. You think this is supposed to be funny? I mean... yeah. <sighs> well... Do you think it's funny now, little boy? I... oh, because... You want to join 20 of my sexy clown friends in a tiny car that somehow fits us all like it's no big deal? I... I... What? Moment's gone. <sighs> Not forgotten. I wonder where this goes. Locked. Jacob! Come check this out. Oh, alrighty then. Door, buckle up because you are about to meet your maker. Done. Nice. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, <laughs> Whoa. The fucking mother lad. Good golly, Miss Molly. No wonder he kept this place locked up. I think he'll be pissed when we made a stash. What? No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um, <clears throat> human rights or whatever. Sure, yeah. All right. Now let's see what we are working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. Oh, hell yeah. In and out. 
Job done. Boom. I want to look around. Go for it. Everyone likes a scavenger hunt, and at Hackett's Quarry, that's no different. There are secrets in these woods, fun secrets that should you uncover them, could help protect you from criminal prosecution. After all, the stories you'll take with you are only stories without the proof to back them up. So it's time to dive into the mystery, take pictures, or find pieces of evidence, and you may just prove your innocence. Or not. Jacob! Check this out. What? I can't move or else the door will latch. They look like camping supplies. Oh, okay, um... There's tents back at the fire pit, so just let's let's go. Did a bear do this? Oh, cool. What? What is it? A gun. Oh, cool. And uh code. Okay. I'm done. So you're, uh, you're really gonna keep the gun, huh? Yeah, for bears. Okay, uh, well I am gonna find something to haul this lot back to camp. I'm in. Hey, very nice. <laughs> what else is in there? Uh, just some fireworks. Oh, oh, fireworks? Yeah, but I don't think we should. No, 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 Emma. Fireworks. You know, you're right. Fireworks. <laughs> Hell yeah! Fireworks! Oh, um, and might I just add, um, fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I found these, like, torn up bags back there. They were pretty messed up, and I think they might have had blood on them. Oh, oh, stop. Stop. Stay right there. <sighs> oh, dude! Peanut butter butter pops. Dude, peanut butter... Fucking butter pops. What are butter pops? <laughs> no. What? I can't believe it. Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. <laughs> pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop. Oh my god. They're like the greatest snack of all time. What are they? Are they like popcorn? What? No. No, 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 no. They're nothing like popcorn. They're like their own thing. Like their own subgenre 
a food snack. You know what? I haven't had these since I was a kid. You are in for such a treat. Okay, wait. Is there an expiration date on that bag? Um, no, they're still good. Oh my god, they're like 20 years old, aren't okay. they? Okay, look, they predate expiration dates. Blah. Well, you're gonna love them. Blah. Oh my god. Oh. Well, <clears throat> I saw a wheelbarrow out front, so we can load up all our booty in there. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um, like treasure or buds. <laughs> no, before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel with wheels. You can put stuff in it and just wheel it around. Oh. I see. <sighs> Ladies first. Um, yeah. Which way? sanctum it's just an office this is where the magic happens <laughs> okay yeah let's just make this quick sure just give me a sec to get this going and engage podcasts yeah all right Uh, what's it called, the one that you're listening to right now? Uh, Bizarre Yet Bonafide. So, like, ghosts and stuff? It's like, um, yeah, like, the the weird and the wonderful, digging up weird mysteries and discussing if they're, well, bonafide. boner fide. Get it? Boner. <laughs> Your wit knows no bounds. So, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on, what kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children going to have anyway? <laughs> Not Mr. H, I know. He's cool. It's always been cool to me. Whoa, look at this old thing. Hey, give me your number. I want to try it out. Why? Oh, no reason. I just thought it'd be nice for somebody to call you for a change. Good burn. Thank you. I thought it was pretty good. Hello? What? Who is it? Hello? It's weird. I... I thought I thought I heard someone. Maybe we should stop touching stuff. Fine. Kaylee and Caleb Hackett. Weird kids, huh? I like them. Yeah, me, I, me too. Um, they are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. Well, hello, what is this? You hear that? Is that a trap door? <laughs> yeah, I guess it goes to the basement. Huh. 
But why would Mr. H have a secret trap door in his office that goes to the basement? Maybe it was here before this was his office. He's like a million years old. This has always been his office. It's probably for storage. Yeah, or so that he can make a quick getaway when the heat comes down. Oh, uh, okay. Or it's for storage. Go ahead, open it up. All right, well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness, so... You're being dramatic. Climb down, take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. You opened it, you climbed down. What's down there? Oh my god, Ryan, you will what? not believe this. What, what, what? It's nothing. Oh, hey. I had you go in there for a second, didn't I? No. Maybe. Just shut up. It is uh, pretty spooky down here, though, and it smells very unnatural, so... Yeah, okay, I'm coming back up. Ooh, that's a nice chair. I could get used to this. You better hope Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joyride. <laughs> Come on, he's not good now. Okay, just be careful. What do you think I'm gonna do, break it? Come on. Oh. That's a design flaw. Mm. <laughs> oh, Laura Kearney and Max Brindley. Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. <sighs> hey, what's the gun for? Uh, Chris, Mr. H told me it was for, um, bears. Bears? Here? Yeah, yeah, he said they don't really come around because he's got the gun to... Yeah. <laughs> Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Dude, what if we're out partying tonight, out in the woods, and we end up in a sort of most dangerous game situation? Like when people hunt other people? Yeah. Yeah. What? I mean, think about it. It's Camp is over, and hunting season has just begun. True. What if, what if, okay, bear with me here, what if what's on the menu tonight is us? Well, then I guess we would need to protect ourselves. Exactly. That's why we need the gun mm. for protection. Yeah. Not gonna happen. What about for fun? No? Okay. Yeah, yeah, totally. Well, we know where the gun is, if we need it. Your call, man. Can't you, like, speed it up at all? I can try to encourage them. Go for it. You guys can do it. It's not working. We're going to have to wait.
Yo, my guy, toss me the keys. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? I, I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. <laughs> Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's... You're not a little bit curious? I'm not gonna touch anything. Fine. Don't let me regret it. Can't promise that, but... Nothing but that. <laughs> You're using that wrong. Oh. Huh. Fashion icon. <laughs> Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. Wow, there's... Yo. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't... Uh, Brian? Whoa, what the fuck? These monitors, this is the camp. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just... They're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just probably just trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like uh, Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. I didn't know that Mr. H was into that kind of stuff. Shit, maybe he likes that podcast that you listen to. Secret hobby, I guess. Expensive hobby. Yeah, well, I mean, what else are you going to do out here? Yeah, I guess camp probably does get pretty lonely when there's no one else around. Yeah. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Uh, I mean... It's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by stuff. Yeah, that's what a secret is, Ryan. It, it's weird. It's majorly yeah, weird. I don't disagree with you, but... It, it's It's gotta be something juicy in here. Dylan, okay. it's, it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure, that won't be an awkward conversation, like, at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. All right. I, I'm leaving the secret layer. Have fun. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret lair. Okay, these are boring. Whoa, there's some pretty heavy-duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch that. Yeah, there's nothing fun.
Yo, leave the gun alone, man. You got it, boss. Nice. Full up. Hey, Dunzo. Alright, cool. Let's go. Thank you. It'd be a lot easier with Mr. H's chainsaw. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. Yeah, they can get kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. They always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. <laughs> the art cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take that goes by. Where should we go? Why don't you choose? Good choice. Better sticks this way. Better sticks? Yeah. You like burning or whatever. <laughs> Think we've got enough? Uh, not yet. So this place was an actual quarry? Uh, yeah. Apparently some of the caves run pretty deep. It's like a honeycomb under there. Cool. Are you sure this is safe? What, are you scared? No. Are you? No. So, you ever think about what's next? Like, after we die? It's heavy, man. No, I mean like, the future. Yeah, sometimes. All the time. It's so overwhelming. I know what you mean. Sometimes I just try to like, let it happen, you know? What? Like, whatever happens is what was meant to happen. Like it's all predetermined. Fate. I wouldn't call it that exactly. A predetermined future. Maybe the direction stays the same, but the details change. Like, 
It changes as you go. You're still in control of your own... Fate? Yeah. I don't know. Seems a little defeatist. No, see, this way I can do whatever I want and not feel bad about it. Within reason. Guess that is a little freeing? In a sociopathic kind of way. <laughs> where we are? Yeah? Up here. Here, hold these. Sure. This view is just... Wow. Abby, you're really good. No, no, this is nothing. <laughs> no, really, I'm not just saying that. This is rough, but if I can get a little bit of it down, then I'll remember it better later. It's really cool you know that about yourself. Um, yeah, I guess so. I mean, not everyone knows what they're capable of, you know? I'm sure you're capable of a lot, Nick. I mean, of course, I just don't know what. You'll figure it out. Did you hear that? Hmm? It's probably nothing. No, listen. There's something there. Oh, look! It's so tiny. Oh my god, he's so cute. Hold on. by a creature of indeterminate origin. Don't breathe. You need to stop breathing, tricking the beast into taking you for nothing but a corpse. And where's the fun in hunting them which is already dead? Watch the visuals alter or listen to the sound change as the threat approaches. When the danger has passed, run. Pick the right moment and run for your life. Be warned. Exhaling or running at the wrong time may just mark you as the creature's quarry, causing serious consequences.
Jeez. That was close. He almost just mowed me to death. We gave her a good story to tell her pig husband. How do you know it was the mommy pig? I got a pretty good look. Ew! I think she was coming on to me. Oh, got yourself a little girlfriend. She wasn't that little. <laughs> Guess we should head back. Finally get my phone back and it's just a big dumb brick. Hey, Caitlin. Guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Uh, whoa, now, back up. What? His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Fuck it off, man. He, he's just got trail cameras set up, you know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh, you don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check, kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. So, uh, what's going on here? Everything ready? I did see a weird light in the treehouse across the lake. Yeah, that was pretty spooky. Maybe it's your girlfriend, Brian. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I told you never to say Hag of Hackett's Quarry again. What's wrong with saying Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Are you done? You know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but... All right, right guy. Time to get wood. Yikes. Wording. Oh, I know what I said. Abby, Nick! Just in time. We got wood. <laughs> We've already done that joke. It's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. Uh, are you sure you guys are okay? Nobody got gored? We're okay. It wasn't a bullfight or anything. Though I think Nick did make a new girlfriend. Oh, do tell. Oh. Oh. Special delivery! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where the hell did that gun come uh, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh... Well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. And, and, we bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop! I didn't even know you could still find these anywhere. Oh, hey, hey, 
Cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on. Am I? Please hand me the shotgun. What, you're going to shoot me over them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to shoot for them. Nah, dude. Absolutely not. No. Okay, there is no way I'm leaving you dillweeds alone with a gun. Come on, look, the shooting range is like right over there, okay? It'll be fun. Okay, look, you and me, old-fashioned shootout. First prize, peanut butter butter pops, all to yourself. Dude, I guess you don't really want them then, huh? Fine, you're on. Yeah, boy! Jacob, hand me that gun now. I mean, nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. We need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on. Please. All right. Yeah. I guess we're gonna have ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. Yeah. Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but if I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, uh. we'll be good. So, just so you know, I was an expert marksman, <clears throat> third class, three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick, but if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you actually... Okay, boys, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes. Got it? Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. All right, so is it just me? Is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil Yeah, deck. okay, thank you. Bye, bye. So, um, how was your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? It was... it was okay. Hey! Atta boy! So, I mean, what happened? Well, we flirted a little. She's... really smart. Yeah? Mmm, yeah. I mean, you see the deal? Don't be gross. No, 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 hey, look, no sweat, okay? We all get performance anxiety sometimes. You just better make your move before a real man swoops in. Speaking of, let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <laughs> okay, please, just give me the gun. Uh-uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're going to do this. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you where you're at. I'm sorry to have to say, there may well be times during your stay at Hackett's Quarry where you'll have to defend yourself <laughs> using potentially deadly force. When engaging in combat, simply aim your weapon and shoot where the flashlight is pointed. Take note, if you're up close and personal with your target, you'll do more damage. The farther away, the larger the spread, and injuries may not be fatal. There's a time and place for the use of weapons, and you may want to consider all your options. Remember, it's not always wise to pull the trigger. That's how people get hurt. Obs. 
All right, Nick, one point. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Thank you, good. All right, Nick, this time for real. Nice shot. Point to you, Nick. Good job, Nick. All right. Let's see what you got. All right. You might want to uh, avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right. Just shut up and shoot, Jacob. Huh. I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle. Whoa, okay, dude, not with this random cannon dude, blaster. That is how you get someone shot. Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey. Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. What? No. Sorry, Jacob. Better luck next time. <laughs> Butter like next time? Hey, I didn't want to <laughs> say it, but you're both very mean. <laughs> Blam, we thought this was over. What the whoa. Pop pop, peanut butter butter pops. Okay. New idea. Party game. Mm. Uh, Come on, people, we might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style? Mm. Okay, house rules are, someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So, like, normal truth or dare? Yes. So we can, like, make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but... Well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house steals, so... Abigail. Truth or dare? Really dodged a bullet, huh? All right, here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, I, uh, I. Hey, take it easy, man. That's too far. Come on, I, I'm not finished. Um. Have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, uh, Abby, oh my God, yeah. just pick someone. Okay, okay. Um, I don't know. Ugh. Ding, ding, ding. Too late. My turn. Ryan. 
truth or dare? Truth. I'm an open book. Okay, okay. Let's get right down to it. Let's do. You and Mr. Hackett. Here we go. What were you doing in his office? Well, I know what you're fishing for, but it's actually super boring. If you must know, I needed some life advice. Advice, huh? Oh, whoa, whoa, M. Okay, I got this. Okay, so uh, if you go to settings, there's an option called incognito mode. And if you press that, no life advice about school. And, and that's no fair. I've, I've already answered my question. Maybe we can help. Uh, I don't know. You've all got your own shit going on. Besides, I figured just the mention of the word school would cause Jacob to hemorrhage or something. Whoa, dude, what the hell did I do? Alrighty, who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. Good point. Alright, Jacob, let's see what you're made of. Oh, there, there, man, come on. Okay. I dare you to take a flying leap over that fire pit. <laughs> Naked. Oh, dude! Fuck yes! Oh, I will jump over this thing, I don't care. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. No, no. Jacob, wait. Don't do it. Stop. Dude, I say veto, you're gonna fuck yourself up. What? No, come on, man, I got this. Brian, come on. Fine, Vito. You know what? Fuck this game. All right, <clears throat> someone else can go. Okay, fine. Then I call your turn. <clears throat> Whatever. Emma. There. Emma, so you have to kiss... Jacob? Or... Oh. Nick. Uh. <laughs> well, Ben. Um, uh, sorry, Nick. This is not uh, even there, obviously. I don't know if that's a good this. idea. I choose Nick. M? Seriously? Guys. Guys! Thank you, Nick. He's good. You like kissing my girlfriend, asshole? It was just a game. Hey, I'm nobody's <laughs> girlfriend. The fuck it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Jacob, grow up. Well, I guess I should probably go after him. You should probably go find Abby. So, anybody want to play part cheesy? What? As always, delighted that you're here. So, then, what more has been found? The Hanged Man. 
To be the hanged man is to surrender. And by doing so, gain a new perspective. So look carefully and consider that sometimes one needs to be strung up in order to let go. But these are just words. There's more to show you, if you'll let me. There's no shame in not wanting to glimpse into the futures that may come to be. All I'm trying to do is help. But the last thing I want to do is take your choices from you. Like mine were taken from me. That's all I have to say for now. Secrets remain buried and the night grows darker. I'll see you again, you can count on that. Be careful. Where the wolves go, the ravens follow.